Psalm 825, a wonderful Savior is Jesus, my Lord. Uh, we do have a three or four people here that we've been asked to pray for. Uh, Julie Wakeley, Norma Sims, Chloe Feltham, Bob Sellers, Gary Garland. Now these folk, you may not know them, but let me assure you that God knows them. And God knows their need. And we just bring their names before the Lord. And we ask that He'll be with them. And in a special way today, they will be aware of His presence and His peace. And that healing touch would be theirs. I want us to uh, think as well this morning as we... Uh, sharing the time of prayer about our core. I, I'm not sure about most of you. Uh, I know it's been on my heart, and, and uh, some of you I know have, yes, been thinking about our core and, and looking at uh, our situation. And, and sometimes we are prone to say, well, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, there it is. This is the way things are. Well, that's not quite true. We all have a part to play. And I'll, I'll be talking about that maybe a little bit later. But this business of prayer and bringing before the Lord, now the Lord knows all about our core. The Lord knows, you know, we're all getting the gray hair and we're all getting older and, and you know, we need the blocking sticks and all that kind of stuff. That's just not new to the Lord. But I believe God needs to know what's on our hearts. What's on our hearts, where, where we are, you know? Do, could we care less? And, and I know some of you are burdened because things may look probably a little bit bleaker than they actually are. So uh, I'm asking this morning, not only now, but we, we going to sing this song and then I'm going to have a prayer. But I want you to uh, make it a matter of prayer. This week and in, in, in the days that are ahead, when you come to the Lord, whether it's morning, noon, night, it doesn't matter. But we need to be praying. Praying for the folk who are attending. Praying for those who are not. The lost in our communities. Praying for our young people. Praying for our officers. There's strength available. There's power in prayer. Do we believe it? Amen. Amen. Well, we're going to sing through this song. And then... Yes, our prayers are being answered, actually. We can pray for my son, we have to I'm sure that if we stop to think about it, we stop to look at it, God is answering it in many ways. Sometimes we don't see it. Our eyes are, I don't know, they're clouded over. We've got all kinds of uh, glaucomas or, or cataracts or something or another. Uh, and, and we can't see what God is doing. But God is still present. God is at work. And, and that's just one way in which God is answering. Well, Let's uh, bring that concern to the Lord and the concerns of those that we've already mentioned. Let's sing that song together, please.
we can come to this place, have the full assurance that we've not come to just greet one another, but we've come to meet with you. And we thank you and praise you for that. We realize, Lord, that there are others who would probably like to be here this morning that because of their circumstances are unable to make it. There are others that may not gather in this place, but they have special needs. They need your touch. They need your voice to speak to them softly, to bring that word of peace and comfort. They need that healing upon their bodies. And so God, we ask that you will bless those that we have named this morning, that you will come very near to them and that each one of them will know, know that your presence is there, know that you are not going to fail them, but you are going to uplift them and you're going to give them the strength that they need for this day. Lord, we pray too for our poor. Many things that we could stop and say, yes, Lord, this is a need, that is a need. But Lord, we come and we ask that just as you have blessed us over the past 70 years, so Lord, we believe that there is a ministry here in this area, in this, along this shore. And we would ask that you will give direction so that that ministry will be fulfilled. Lord, we ask that you will bless every aspect of the core, every ministry that's carried on here. We'll have your seal of approval that your blessing would be there. We know, Lord, that without you, it's going to fail. But with you, Lord, we believe that even though we may not see by faith we reach out. By faith we claim your promises. And we believe that there will be a great work to be done. Bless our officers. Give them a time of relaxation so that when they come back, they will be able to be energized and, and be able to be even more active than they've been. Bless each aspect of our life. Lord, bless those who will be listening by way of television, computers, or whatever they, however they may hear this service. Lord, we believe that you're not restricted to a time and place. And so you will be there, that they reach out to you in faith whenever they hear it, whenever they read it. Lord, we know that you will bless them. Thank you, Lord. Thank you because we believe that you are a God that never fails. And you're going to continue to bless us. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen.